The USGBC has a lead rating system which includes materials, establishing points for materials reuse, recycled content, and regional materials. We can use Revit to give us an idea of how much of this material we're using in our project. You can decide on which file that you'll use for this project. You can use the model that we created when we looked at conceptual mass modeling, or you can use an assignment that you've worked with in the past or one that you're currently working with. Recycled material can be fly ash in the concrete, recycled glass or floor tile, reclaimed wood products, and many other types of material. We'll be using recycled carpet material, which can be up to 90% made with rubber tires as part of the recycled material. So we'll go ahead and select your floor and then drop this list down of available floor materials and we'll pick wood truss joist 12 inch on with the carpet finish and then pick edit type and pick duplicate so that we can create our own family for the floor system and we'll just replace here the carpet finish with recycled carpet. Go ahead and pick OK and then pick the edit button next to structure. We're going to change here the material. We can pick carpet and select the icon with the three little dots there and then duplicate this carpet material by picking the duplicate button at the bottom left corner and we'll call this recycled carpet and pick OK. You can change the color if you'd like to visually see it a little bit better in your drawing and later on when we talk about rendering we'll take a look at some of the materials that we can render with as carpet finishes. We'll pick OK, we'll pick OK, and OK. Clicking in space you should see that new flooring material. Now we can go to the view tab and under schedules pick material takeoff. We have a choice of creating a material takeoff for the entire project for recycled material or we can choose a category. We'll go ahead and choose floors and then just before the word floor we'll put here recycled so that the name of our schedule will be recycled floor material takeoff and we'll go ahead and pick OK. We can add different fields to our schedule. We will pick material name and pick add and then area and pick add and you may even want to add the volume and then create a calculated value based on the percentage of volume that's used as recycled. For this example we'll use name and area then go to the filter tab so that we can change the filter by material name drop this list down and pick contains and then type in recycled carpet. You can also change the formatting of the schedule here in these tabs. Let's go ahead and pick OK and you'll see your recycled floor material takeoff. Even after you've created your schedule you can pick the edit button under formatting. You can change the alignment of these fields to center. Highlight material name and pick alignment center and highlight material area and pick center and pick OK and you'll see that your schedule formatting will change. Showing you here the recycled carpet and how much of that recycled carpet is in our project. Now let's take a look at solar sun studies. We'll go to the 3D view and then under visual displays we'll pick graphic display options and in the graphic display options dialog box look for lighting and sun settings. And here is that ghost surface. Just as a reminder, we talked about ghost surfaces in an earlier module. And under lighting, we can pick under sun settings, in session lighting. Here you can create a sun study that would be a still solar study 
or a single day which would show intervals of time during that one day or multiple days at a specific time. We'll go ahead and pick single day and then pick winter solstice solar study. We'll duplicate this solar study by picking the duplicate button at the bottom left corner and we'll call this project solar study and pick OK. Then under settings for location pick this icon with three little dots and you'll see that the default is in Boston. We can type in here Southfield and do a search. Even after we find Southfield at this location we can put our pointer on that small triangle below this red pin, hold our left mouse button down and drag that pin to a specific location. Go ahead and pick OK. And because we use the winter solstice solar study, we're already set up for the date of December 21st. And the time for this single day will go from 10 o'clock in the morning until 4 p.m. For one hour intervals between that time, we'll have seven frames. Let's go ahead and change the time interval to 30 minutes, giving us 13 frames, and then keep the check mark in ground plane at level 1 so that we can see the shadows cast. Pick OK, and then we'll put a check mark under cast shadows. You can even change here the intensity of those shadows. We'll take a look at some of the other settings as we come to a different module. We'll pick apply and OK and you'll see right away the shadow that's cast based on the winter sun angles. We'll go to the level 2 floor plan and then in the level 2 floor plan we'll go to the 3D house icon at the top and drop down that list to camera. Creating a camera we can pick at the bottom of our screen, pull our mouse up and then left click for the direction. In this level 2 camera view, we can crop the view and turn our shadows on. Then we'll go to visual displays and back to graphic display options so that we can pick sun settings and set this view to the single day sun setting that we already preset as project solar study. Go ahead and pick OK and then OK again. They've also added here under the sun icon sun settings that will bring you directly to the sun settings dialog box. Now that we've created a solar study we can pick on the sun icon and go to preview solar study. You'll see all of the frames at the top left with frame 1 being the first one and the time that we start and then the play button is here in the options bar. When you press play you'll see the animated solar study based on the sun shadows at those 13 frames. As an option you can go to the application menu and down to export to images and animations and save your solar study as an AVI file. Highlight the 3D camera view that you just created. Right click and pick rename. Let's rename this project solar study. Pick OK and then let's create a sheet. You can highlight sheet, right click and pick new sheet and then load the 11 by 17 sheet which is in the title blocks folder. After loading the 11 by 17 horizontal title block, pick OK, and then drag and drop your project solar study view onto your sheet and under schedules in the project browser let's bring in the recycled floor material takeoff. Save this sheet at the bottom right as recycled materials solar study and then we'll change here 
the name to Advanced Revit and you can go ahead and put your student name in this title block too. Another way of taking a quick look at the solar angles on our building is to go to the 3D view and just turn on the sun path down here at the bottom left corner. By turning on the sun path you'll have access to this yellow ball that represents the sun and if you hold your left mouse button down on the ball you'll be able to drag your mouse along that line of the projected day which is down here December as you hold your left mouse button down and drag your mouse along this path you can see at the different times the different shadows that are projected on your building design you can also select the path and then hold your left mouse button down on the path to change the different month and day at the bottom along the outside ring making it easy for us to visually see the sun path at any day or time.